to another episode of Jurassic World Alive! We're back! Finally! I know, just a day after we make... Oh look, it's Kool-Aid! Oh, this was a good cool decision, yes! <laughs> and you know what? That video went live, the salamander video I did. And I had Richard message me, you know, the, guy, the, the guy who's in the video, and he was like, What's with all these Kool-Aid comments? <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's going on? I had to like explain. Oh, I was from like a Jurassic Park game I played once. Um, and we d I had this cool Kula Sutra and I just nicknamed it Kool-Aid. He was like, right, still don't get it. <laughs> I was like, oh, it doesn't matter. Honestly, it don't matter. Anyway, we are back. Um, how have you guys been finding the game? For Strangely enough for me, sorry, I'm just making a quick adjustment to the microphone there. For me, I haven't actually been doing like any battles like the regular battles these things haven't been doing it because i i don't know i just can't be bothered <laughs> i like i like darting the dinosaurs now i like opening the opening the game up and you know just having a quick look around see if there's any omegas or anything that's rare and then closing it i don't want to get into a battle where i have to think <laughs> Some, like, I don't play these games where, oh, let's go. If I want to play something tactical, I'll play Warhammer Tacticus. Something like that. This thing, it, it's just way too, I don't know. At the moment, I'm just not vibing. I ain't vibing with the, uh, the, uh, it's giving hard work is what it is <laughs> when I do battles. Uh, but that doesn't mean that I haven't, oh, wait, hold on. Why is this shining? Oh, let's go rarity, actually. Hold on. Yeah, now that we have one, two, three, four, five, six different Omegas, I, you can't have them all open at the same time. So now I need to just quickly, like, go through three, have another scroll, and then put them back. Uh, Dracovinator is an interesting one, because once I see Dracovinator, um, like... I don't need, I know I don't need to dart that. Once I dart it, I think it's like once a week or something like that. That's good. I've got plenty of that DNA. However, we do have the Megalania, which was so interesting because when I would see it on the map, it didn't have its Omega glow around it. It had its rare, like a rare glow, so it was blue. And finally, here it is. Yes. Ah, oh, glorious. Do you do anything? Do you like stand on your hind legs? Oh, here we go. Evolve to claim. Well, I need to first level it up. We're at seven claimy points. Ooh, cool. A new animation. It takes a bloody long time, but we do get that. I want to go see on its hind legs. I don't know if we're going to see go on its hind legs. Does it have one? No, it just has a bear. Oh, that's, it, and it sounds like a bear, which is very interesting. <laughs> so we're going rarity. And I have, you know, I've dotted as many as I can. And whenever I go on the train in Japan, I'll I'll just open this up and just let it go. Uh, because sometimes I just pass by one that wasn't there. Or some will just be in the distance that I can dart. I don't know if that's still a glitch or whether Ludia has just decided, you know what? We're just going to let some Omegas just be a thing you can dart that you don't really need to be next to. Um, and we now almost have half a million coin. Um, I, yeah, I can level up Toro. Toro is the, the furthest I think I've gone. And if I... Ooh, what is this? So if I want... I can have a swap in endurance. So I have to be threatened. But if I am, I increase my arm by 20%. I increase damage by 25%. I have a 75% chance to dodge. Wow. Okay, so I get a dodge, I get an attack, and I get armor. Now, do we? I think we can actually buy that animal. Yeah, solid. Let's go. So we'll get it to level 12. We could be halfway to level 13. But... Honestly, I think the best thing to do with these sorts of creatures, just, just, if you if you can get it, you might as well. So there we go. We'll unlock that. So now we can swap in with it. The next one is if the opponent swaps out. Oh, no, it's you get to swap it. So you do a big hit. You cleanse. So that's brilliant because if you, um, if an opponent has somewhere to counter which locks you in, you cleanse that and you, you leave. I think... Um, Oh, the scorpion has that. The scorpion can get hit, and when it, usually it would be locked out, but a lock-in attack normally hits you, then you cleanse yourself, and then you get... Although, actually, I don't think that works. I think it needs to be a passive, a passive that cleanses you. Uh, we do have 84 training points, so if we wanted to, we could increase how much damage we do 
and a crit. So we can do almost 50% extra damage and a crit. And also increase our crit chance. <laughs> okay. That seems to be like maybe the best thing to do. So now we've got 40% chance of crit. And then just boost attack. So you just got, if you get a crit, you, you know, I'm not going to do that. Yes, I will leave it because I, I don't know. The good news is with that, it only costs 100 bucks to get back. That's good. Everything else when it comes to this game and um, evolving or uh, like, sorry, anything else that comes to books is absolutely a terrible, terrible uh, conversion rate. I don't, I don't know why that is. The game just decided, no, nah, we're just going to make it horrible. So you get 10 bucks. Honestly, the amount, it's, it's horrible. <laughs> the amount of stuff you get, like the books you get, just playing the game, and then you want to do something fun with the books. Yeah, that's like 5 million. <laughs> and you get like 10. <laughs> so we can get this as well. Unlocked creature. So this is an attack. So what do we do? You increase your speed. Um, you get a shield for 25% uh, reduction of damage. Oh, okay. Can we... Ooh, we could get to level... Uh, but there's no point, honestly. If we level up, sweet, we leveled up, and then what? But this way, at least even usable, we've got a new move for it. So now it has three moves. Sweet! Uh, we'll have a look at this guy as well. We're just going to leg up... Uh, leg up. We're going to level up all of our amazing... Um... Omegas. It's like Marvel, Avengers, Assemble. Da, da, da. Except that they're not as cool. <laughs> oh, they have an outstate that welcome, depending on who you are. Because I'm, I don't know. I don't know about you, man. I, I, I got sick of Avengers after, or freaking Marvel. After the first phase, was it? The first phase was over, and then it's like, da, da, da. <laughs> then again, I don't know. I'm not, I don't seem to be enjoying many franchises at the moment. Warhammer's great. I do, I like Jurassic Park. Of course I will. Um, but I'm not as invested uh, like in Marvel. I don't even know how we got onto that. But here we are. So, Clever Girl, still level 8. Um, the longest running dinosaurs so far are the Aplaceratops, Toro, and the Stegorus. Or Stegorus. Stegorio. So we could get... Yeah, we may as well claim that. I think that's a move. Did we get a move? Payback Rampage. Act last. That's the first time we've seen that. So you heal, you increase armor, and that's it. I mean, you do attack. Oh my god, I thought we were going to see the implementation of, I don't know, moves that, like, did two times as much attack damage to the opponent as they've, you know, taken. A bit like counter or something, or bide in Pokemon. That would have been quite interesting. There's a lot of things in Pokemon that, you know, this game has taken and made a lot better. Because Pokemon Go is not too complicated. But really, it doesn't need to be. And finally, Megalania! We can sort of level up! I think I've only encountered maybe three, three of these guys, maybe four. Um, I have never bought... A, did I get DNA? I think we might have bought something in the last Jurassic World Live, but I can't remember. But no, I've never... Oh, it was probably the Season Pass, actually. That's right. And speaking of Season Pass, I have not bought it yet. Um, yeah, so that's as much of that that we're going to be able to get. Uh, we do have another one over there, another Diablo. But it's absolutely pouring in the moment, so I ain't going out on my bike to get that thing. Uh, but if we go into this and uh, go into the pass... Yeah, so I haven't got my premium. If you were to spend 40 quid on the premium, you would get a sil silica or silica? Silica? Silicia? Silicia skin for your Stegorus, which is, or Nodo. No, I think it's the Nodo. No, it's not Nodo. It's the other. God knows. Anyway, but you do also get the hybrid DNA. You get 600 of that, 600 of that. Um, <sighs> yeah. God, definitely don't want to do it. No, don't want to do it. Stupid, no. But I will go into here because we do definitely have some of this DNA to get, which may help us level up. Oh God, okay, we're going to go to the bottom. There's also this unique hybrid that I haven't unlocked yet. And for some other reason, again, it's another one of these hybrids that needs the Atrociraptors. No idea why they are getting so much love in the franchise, but they are. And uh, there you go. <laughs> then this one, yeah, level five, Megalania. Let's go. Level you up. There you go, son. Yeah. I like leveling up. 
I know you do. Right. De ooh. Degener de degenerating strike. There we go. Get eventually. And devious impact. Devious licks, eh? Overwhelming impact. Lockdown pressure. Minor degenerating swap in strike. And no escape. These things would be very good when they're eventually usable. They like I had four hundred and forty thousand coin, and now I only have three hundred seventy. So I've almost spent a hundred thousand leveling these guys up. And bear in mind, these are very low levels. That's twelve thousand at level twelve. So is it always at a? Oh no. Okay. So it's going to get more and more expensive the higher level they get, and it's going to take more and more DNA. I love how it's got like a little swing. Like, oh, you can get more of this. Just go inside. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I'd be surprised if people have, re like, really high levels of these guys, because, I mean, I feel like I've darted a fair few of them so far, but I don't really want to spend 40 quid to get another level on that, and really the stuff I get at the pass, apart from the skin, do I really care? Not really. So I think I'm going to leave it there, but there is something in here that we can do. And that is the Afflictor's Assault. So in total, 2, 4, 6, 90, 120, 150, 180, 240, 300, 440 DNA. Basically, as much as darting maybe four Megalanias. Um, now, the creatures you can use in this are pretty good. There is, however, a Parasaur Lux, and I think that might be the only creature that can heal. So you need to save that Parasaur Lux. The Parasaur Lux needs saving. I think this guy actually can heal, yes, because it's got Distracting Devour. Um, I do have a really highly boosted Spino Constrictor, as well as a Speed Boost Reset that is going to time out in about four days, because you can only hold on to one at a time, and I've got one in my inbox that's waiting to be used and if i don't use it it gets like wasted so don't know why we can't just have multiples of that it seems it's deliberately put in you freaking ludia man <laughs> deliberately done it right um so i mean i guess i'll put these guys in it's 20 it's all right Again, saving Parasaur Lux. I will save that. Uh, I'm kind of tempted for... Oh, Forex has a lot of health on it. Interesting. Inter I'll put Spino Constrictor in. It's level 30. It's got a lot of boosts on it. I don't think i put any speed on it, though. Or at least I might have taken the speed off. So we'll just go for massive damage. I think... Oh, a shield. Okay. I think it's regular uh, counter is that it does... Oh, I afflicted. Ooh, did I lower its shield? Oh, or not. I don't even know what I did. <laughs> uh, distracted. Can it be just... Oh, it's vulnerability now. It actually has a resistance. Oh, it must have been 100%, so now I can actually inflict a, inflict a vulnerability to it. Uh, may as well do this. We'll get some evasion going. We'll also put some bleed on it. I would have done this first time. Oh, does that go through? No, it doesn't. Okay, but does it actually? Uh, yes. That that went through my dodge. That's brilliant. But this this bleed will definitely kill it. Huzzah! Well, that was I heard. Dynonicus, more like stupid. Right. I've, I've got my dodge still going. He's got his evasive. I don't actually have something that goes through, but we do bleed him. And we put an affliction on it. Oh, killed it. Nim, 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 nim. I want to take as little damage from this as possible. I think the final one was quite an easy one. I could be wrong, though. The Lava Sword Gen 2. Uh, is immune. Ooh. It's immune! Right. I could swap in and just get some of that and then do 2,800 damage to it. So I don't take too much damage here. Ah, what the heck? If I get a crit, it's dead. Damn it! <laughs> oh! I assume said chance to crit. Cool. No! That's so much damage, you bugger you. One thousand and odd for the first level. Well, we'll wait for Parasol Lux to get some good uh, healies on it. We just need to get to the point where we can do the raid boss. So there it is, 20. If we got all of this, we could level it up a little bit more. What's the next one? Tarbo, 
Utah Raptor, and Marsupial Lion. Uh, how fast is the fastest on their team? Right, okay, so yeah, pretty much the same as last time. Forex. You know what, I should just use my boosts for, for some of these creatures. I really should, because they're, they're just wasted otherwise. Right, Forex. What can you do against Tarbosaurus? Hmm. I... Oh. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. I meant to, like, click and hold, but I, I, my, my finger touched it and moved off, and uh, here we are, taking damage. Right, okay, well, you know what? Maybe this is going to work out, because I'll do this. I don't think I could have done that right away. Was there a delay on it? Oh, no, no. Could have done that right away. Could have... Oh, no damage. That's fantastic. Um, right. Uh, we'll do the same again. Ooh, yes. Okay. Okay, we'll do the same again. As long as he doesn't reduce my attack, which I don't think he does. Unless he has high pounce or something. Which he might do. Cunning impact. Okay, that's... Ah! Hmm. Okay, well, as long as it doesn't go through the dodge, which it doesn't. Okay. Really don't need to be taking this, th these damages here. Uh, I'll just do this. I'll just do this. Oh, he has high pounce as well. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. Already half health and reduced damage again. Again. Right, we'll go for this. And then we'll just kill it. So... <laughs> hey, I've done it in the past. Okay, it really depends... What the boss is up. I like to keep them as a surprise. So Marsupial Lion, we'll just go for the biggest hitters. And oh, there you go. Easy kill. Beautiful. Any boosts on this guy? Apart from a little bit on the health. I think I maxed its attack. So it would have done a lot of damage. However, I took it all off. Because I wasn't like full Rex or full Fobra Rex hasn't been used in the in the meta for such a long time. So it, did, it didn't make any sense to have those attack boosts going spare on it, so I thought I'd just take them off. Nodosaur, uh, oh sorry, Sora Pelter, Tiger, or Red, and Titanobo Gen 2. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Right. I want to put you in. Then I want to put you in. Then I want to put you, and then I want to do... Oh, hold on. Okay. I was just thinking, does that have a healer? The Carbonemis, whatever it is, the the hybrid there. Right. Okay. Forex. Just as long as you don't die, I'll be happy. Notice all. Okay. That's good. That's good. We'll go for this. Do a massive hit. Reduce your attack. You probably have superiority. Everyone does. And there it is. And you do go for it. And you reduce my speed. Oh, it's horrible. Right. Eight hundred. Uh, I could cleanse myself, but then you're just going to hit me again. So I'm going to actually switch to the Indolacan. I stopped leveling this thing up when I realized that its pre-evolution is a lot better. However, I think we've got an update coming, where it, which is going to change some things. So it'd be interesting to see what they do with that. Oh, okay. Never mind. Could have stayed in. So what we'll do is we'll use this as an opportunity to just get our speed up a little bit. Get a dodge off. Um, you can't reduce our speed, which is great. Um, oh, it does go through. Okay. What's, what's the best course of action? Oh, a minor one. Because I was hoping to save my draining for like when I could do a lot of damage to something so I can get health back. If I can kill it in one, that would be perfect. Okay, in comes red. Uh, if I can kill this in one, which... Oh! Accelerating shielded distraction. Okay. Okay. How long does that last for you? Two turns. Right. Okay, this is... That's even worse for me. Oh, the, well, there's a fight. You know what? If I get a heal somewhat, I'll be happy. <gasps> there we go. Um, and then... Ooh, the Berserk Resilience is nasty. Uh, how many turns do I get health back for? Four turns. Oh, over two turns. So I got this one and then next turn as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do this because I gain my speed, so I should be faster. 
cleanse myself as well, I think. Cloak of, cloak of rage. Increase attack, increase speed. I increase his attack, but I, then I become invisible. Um, I do heal a little bit more. Um, he's got his berserk, which now is going to do 3,000 and odd damage. <laughs> I thought I'd be faster. Why is his speed so... Okay, 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 okay. Fair enough, fair enough. I'll take it, I'll take it. We do a minor, do a lot of damage. Oh, this did not go well. <laughs> it's been 103 battles, and so far, each one of my best creatures is like half health. It's looking great. Right, can I go with my other one now? No, I can't even go for that. Fantastic. Uh, Alloraptor! Oh, you... On escape dust cloud. Okay, so you gain a shield. You don't lock me in, right? Oh, ne never mind. You gain invincibility. I think I gain cloak? Oh, swapping disarming strike. Interesting. Wow. Okay. How much damage does that do? 1,200? Oh my god, he's gonna die. All right. Okay. Um. Guess I'll go for this. Just instead of invincibility. Oh, it's got a shield now. Okay. It's like, please don't. <laughs> Please don't. Okay, okay. Alaraptor could be good. If only I had the coins in order to level it up. You see the problem here, Ludia? Like this event comes around and I think, oh, this will be brilliant. I can, I can do something with my team. Maybe I could level up something. But actually, I can't. And I have no way of predicting what's going to be usable in these. So I don't have, I have no way of predicting what's going to be usable. And I also have no way of leveling them up because I don't have the coin. The game be, can be fun. If Ludi would just let it be fun. Oh God. Oh, please. No. <laughs> I didn't get to heal anything. And we lost Alloraptor. Not that it really mattered. It was only level 20, but still. Okay, that's three battles. We're on to the level 30s. Okay, so Ghost... Tiger now? Is it Tiger? Okay, that's Tiger. The other one is red. And a Hast Eagle. Hmm. How much damage do you do with this? 3,600. So, and you get priority. So you, you can kill anything straight away. Does anything ever swap in that can do damage? Swap in Stunning Strike. Okay, you'll go in next. Then you, then you. Okay. Okay. Level 5, I think, will be the boss. We'll find out. Right. Let's see. Let's see. I am faster. I do kill you. Why do you not die? Why do you have 15% armor? This game's weird. Why do you have that? But actually, it might not be so bad. Because as long as I survive... Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh... Dece oh, don't decelerate me. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh my god. Okay. This is bad. This is very, very bad. I can't afford to lose you. Uh, don't have anything on the swap out. Oh my god. <gasps> right, so we killed it. That's good. These little critters are quite canny, actually. Evasive restore. Yeah. I don't think they can get members back, but they can heal themselves. Oh no, rally heal. Okay, so they, they can get members back. Okay, fearless flap. That might hit everybody in the squad. It might do. Every time I see that winged icon, I always feel like it does. Okay, cunning. Right, no critical chance. But, uh, oh my god, it's pitiful. Uh, can you restore yourselves? Is there anything for swapping out? No, there's no. Okay, you can't swap prevent him. Okay, here we go. Yes! Cleanse! Get out of dodge! It reduces attack, however, it's only 900, and I'm pretty sure he can do- Yeah, he can definitely do 900 damage. <laughs> oh, he survived! Okay, never mind. Get out! Get out, get out, get out. Okay, we'll swap in you, because we can get our ambush up, at least. And then, hopefully, hopefully, I can do my devious strike, do a lot of damage, and just heal a little bit. Distracting impact. Okay, okay. Not the best, not the worst. That's fine. We do get a counter off. That's good. Now, what else can it do? Fearless flap. Okay, it can only do cunning strike. That's it. Okay, this is it. We're going to do cloak of rage. Then we're going to go for a massive attack heal move. And then we should be able to kill it, I think. 
It might take away my attack damage a, li a little bit, but I've still got invisibility on, so I'm going to do double damage anyway. Uh, 500. Okay. That's good. That's good. The cloak worked. And now we do... How much damage can we do? 2,000 and odd. But I don't think that's factoring in the invisibility. Maybe it is. Damn it, it was. <laughs> okay, but some healies. Right. Healy time. Nom, 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 nom. And I might as well just kill it. Might as well just get rid of it. Just, just... I got some health back. Maybe it's more than I started with. No, it's a tiny bit less. <laughs> but we're getting it. <laughs> we're getting it. Alright, level 30. Right, level 5. This should be the boss. It's a froggy boss. Okay. So everything here and you. Um, How fast is frog boss? 21. Damn it, 106. There's got to be something on our team that can give us a speed boost. Because if we can get a speed boost, that's all I need. I just need that speed boost. Let's have a look. Toro. No. Uh, no. No, I wouldn't expect any of these guys to give us a speed boost. If that's the case, it might be better. Uh, Prowl... Uh, yeah, it might be better if we use something else then. I think so. But Forex. We need Forex though. What about this thing? It, it has a dig. Okay, okay. So take Forex out. No, don't put it back in. Then you. And then, unless it has something that target all opponents. Target opponent. Uh, rally heal. Feast. Oh, that's the crazy one. Is the feast. I hate the feast. Is it got a resistance to bleed? 66. Okay. So if we can get more bleeders on the go. Titanoboa does not have any bleed. Uh, it's not looking too good. Resistance to rend is pretty decent. Nothing that can increase attack. We'll definitely have to just put uh, Parasaur Lux in here. And just hope that we can kill it before it has time to do its feast. So. Oh, wait, what? It's not a team battle? That's throwing me for six. So. Oh, my God. There are, it's an albino frog. Uh, right. It does attack as well when it does feast. It's got a delay of three. So if we can kill it. I know I've increased his attack, but I think we're good. Right, I put it- oh, cleanse. Why does everything reduce my attack when I do this? Damn it! Oh god. Ugh. Right, 300. We might lose Indulakan here. We might lose Indulakan here. I think- do I still have my dodge or anything? No. Um, Kosh, Kosh, what was that? Uh, limited evasive strike. Don't do that much damage. We've, we've, we've lost this. This was horrific. Why is it not a boss thing? This is stupid. I hate it. Right, so I'm doing this much damage to him. I'll put on another bleed when he attacks me. And what? what? What does that do? It just reduces my armor? Oh, it reduces everything. All of my resistances. Okay, okay. Right. Okay, do another bleed. But now he can do his massive healy if he needs to. Um, which he might do now. No? Okay. Okay. So I could have taken his resistance. Oh, I've, put, I've taken down his resistance on the bleed. Actually, this could be... Fairly... Oh, what is going on? <laughs> Not the albino frog boss. Right, another wound. Come on. He's only 50% resistance now. Oh! I don't have, like... Is this do damage? It doesn't do damage. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Every night. I can feel my leg. And my arm. Even my fingers. We're going to lose our best creatures to the frog. And there is 
not a damn thing I can do about it. Um, wow, I thought this event would be quite fun. <laughs> it is not fun. <laughs> yeah, uh, the first time they ever did an Easler event, it felt good, or the first few. Or this one, I, well, maybe I just don't have the creatures for it. Maybe that, what's the cooldown on it? Okay, so four. Oh, and it got a crit. Oh, well, I've lost Indulcan. I've lost Spinoraptor. Um, and I, I, I don't think this, uh, yeah, I mean, maybe, maybe I can, oh, we're gonna, we're gonna lose Carbo to Ceratops as well here. I, I do not have enough a attacks to kill it by the time it you know, I'm gonna do my biggest one. I have 50% armor. How did it do that much damage? That makes no sense. Because by the time I do my massive hit, it's gonna have a little bit of health left, and then it's just gonna heal again. If I had full Rex, I could've went for my priority here and didn't like, you know, finally finished it off or something. He keeps on getting crits as well, man. Keeps on getting crits, and he keeps on reducing my attack, and I do nothing, and he's just gonna heal. Oh my god, it's wasted. I wasted all of my best creatures. I mean, if I get him to a point, like if I just die now, and then, you know, please, Turtle, just die. Just die, Turtle. I don't think he's gonna die. Please get a crit. Kill him. Kill him! Oh. Uh, because now he's gonna go for it. Now he's going to go for his uh, heal. If I had just died here, that would have been perfect. And then I could have, Forex could have came in and killed it. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Every night. Not only did it kill my best creatures, but then it also healed. That's the first time. Okay, so boss opponent. This thing does not say boss opponent. It doesn't say boss opponent. But when it's got 11,000 health and 20, and it's level 24, it's a boss. I don't know. I, th I think that was, I think this event has been super stingy and super cheap, like cheap. Like chucking in a boss that is basically impossible. <laughs> well, I mean, if I knew it wasn't a boss, then I might have been able to have done my team a bit better. But the fact that it killed me, he like healed itself completely. Like I literally did nothing to it, and it, it's 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 basically a boss that can take down all your attack, uh, get rid of all your resistances, and heal itself a hundred percent. Nah, nah, man, nah. I'm done. I'm done. It's, <laughs> it's like this is the thing. The game is fun if you don't do battles, and unfortunately, that's. I think that's the problem with this game. I, I'm getting more, I'm getting closer and closer to the point where I'm not gonna, I, I don't want to do videos on it. Um, because it's not fun. Play games on my channel or I cover things that I enjoy or I have a passion for. And I think the past two months, I've played one battle. And the thing is, this game is so heavily based around battling that even when it comes to the Omegas, the whole purpose of darting is to get it to a level where you can use it. And you get the DNA and you can level up. Uh, and yes, I'm a little bit salty about losing that. And it just feels unfair. Again, there's no way of me knowing. And yeah, I guess I have a week to level up creatures, but I don't have the coin. And I, <laughs> there's, there's no way of doing it unless I spend money on the game. Um, I know, it, it just... I felt like going into this, like this video specifically, I was like, oh, it's gonna be fun because I'm gonna be leveling up all the Omegas. And yes, that was fun. Finally, you know, getting them all up to a level and unlocking some moves. But then when it came to playing the game, not fun. And an event that should be fun. You get such little reward. Like I, from doing this, I have only got two, four, six, 90. I've only gotten, I basically darted one Megalania. Um, and that's it. Unless I want to restart the event, there might be a way to reset. I think, yeah, th 300 bucks. Again, like 100 bucks, maybe, but 300, no. 
Uh, like, the book situation is horrendous. The coin situation is horrendous. The cheap, like, these things, right? It looks like a boss. And it basically is a boss, but it's not a boss. Um, and just generally, I, and the way the meta is, I, I don't want to do PvP battles. Because the meta is just horrible. I, I find myself waiting for an update to come out where I think, oh, finally I can maybe, you know, I've got something that's good now that, you know, was bad before, but at least it's leveled up. And it's taken me like a couple of weeks to get back up to half a mil, maybe, maybe one or two, three weeks, something like that. Um, I don't know if Ludia's is watching right now. Hey, hi, <laughs> I don't want to put a downer on the video. I really don't. But at the same time, I, I I'll just I, I say it how I see it. And I say if it keeps on going this way, it has been going this way for a long time. This might be my last video on Jurassic World Alive. Um, if uh, if nothing else changes, I'm, I'm not enjoying it. I, I, I push through. It takes a lot. I play I play Jurassic Park Builder until the day it was discontinued, because even in that game, there wasn't anything that was a feels bad. You know, if you stop playing it, well, you just stop playing it. There wasn't like, ha, got you, sort of this moment with like the PvP battles. There's always a feels bad because there's so many like, oh, you got stunned with a 5% chance. Oh, we got a crit with a 5% chance. And it's like, oh, great. So I lost cups and it's, it's just, there's so many feels bad situations in this game that I can only take so much. <laughs> it takes a long time to grind to get anything that's worthy of being like, oh, look at this. And if I'm honest, I'd rather spend that time playing something like The Isle or editing a Path of Titans video or, or playing Jurassic World Evolution 2, which is a game that has updated to the point where it's actually fun now. I've never done a playthrough of Jurassic World Evolution 2. And I'm excited to get into that. It's these incubators. That's that's their main focus is to release a new creature, to make it the best in the game, to release an incubator that costs money, and then eventually to nerf it and repeat the process. What is the future of this? They're just going to keep on adding Omegas. They're going to keep on adding Uniques. These creatures have been in the game. We don't even know if any of them are any good, like competitively because no one's got them up to that level. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, and like I said, you made it this far, thank you so much for uh, listening to me. And obviously you're a true, true fan to, to put up with this, or you've got nothing better going on. Anyway, I'm gonna spend my time um, just playing things that I actually enjoy. I think that's the way we should all look at life. Spend, t as, if you can, if you have the flexibility, and the freedom to do it, spend your time doing things you enjoy. Yeah, that's the way it is. And and fortunately, I have that freedom and I'm gonna do it. <laughs> but if you enjoyed this video, guys, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you guys in a different series. Because saw this one. Bye!